This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. City, they take on Real Madrid and it's coming up next on EA TV the stage is set and the players are just about ready here in Manchester we're at the home of City this evening I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me and we're getting down to the wire in the UEFA Champions League tonight the first leg of the semi-final coming right up it is Manchester City, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top-quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. And a look at the starting eleven for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Rodri plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the pitch. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Carvajal starts with Ferlon Mendy in the fullback positions. Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Well, you can't watch Kevin De Bruyne and not be impressed, I think it's fair to say, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, Derek, if he's given time on the ball from outside the box, he can score one of those special goals because he's got brilliant technique. He just manipulates the ball into that bit of space and then just hits through the back of it, and it stays hit. And De Bruyne in a useful-looking position, but will there be an end product? Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Vinicius Junior. Well, a good tackle. This is a message for Owen Kennedy. Owen, Holland. happy birthday from your friend Jonathan Fish. Federico Valverde. And playing it through. stop it was well i have to say that's a magnificent save that's a top class piece of goalkeeping and fired over by course and a goal the opener in the semi-final first goal of the contest Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Well, he knows that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at his reaction. 1-0 then. Number 15, Federico Valverde. Bernardo Silva. Vadiol. Throw into Manchester City. Well, a disappointing throw in there. Rodrigo. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. And space to cross it. And a confident clearance. Rudiger. And back with Carvajal. Moving the ball really well here. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Bernardo Silva Grealish on to Holland marvellous anticipation it's going to be a city ball
De Bruyne. Oh, surely. Oh, that is a wonderful piece of challenging. Tony Kroos. Carvajal. Well, nothing productive, really. The first half here comes to an end. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. So the second half underway, and no doubt about it, City with work ahead of them. Passing it around as the search goes on for an equaliser. And a chance to level it, and that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect, but when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Mendy. Tony Kroos. Chouameni. Well, he's won the ball. And a tidy ball. Walker. Bernardo Silva. Holland. And still looking for space. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Can they hit on the break? Mendy. Now with Bellingham. Valverde. On to Carvajal. And still looking to get the shot away. And he clears the danger. So a throw in for Real Madrid. A change in the offing for City. Jude Bellingham Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. Just knocked it out of there. Carvajal. Trying to really get at the opposition here. He has time to play it over. Rodrigo. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage.
Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Well, Guardiola has to get his team playing again. This isn't going to plan, that's for sure. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Rodri, on the ball, Ruben Dias, Walker, Dias, Walker now, time is against Manchester City, but still they could hit back, De Bruyne, Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So, underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Aurelien Chouameni. And now Rodrigo. Still level. Real Madrid continue to look for what could be a winner. Vadiol. A really effective shielding under pressure. Oh, but they've lost it now. Mendy. Not giving him a moment's peace. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Aurelien Chouameni. And now Rodrigo. Valverde. Takes aim. Strong hand on that one. With time running out, a corner to Real Madrid. Substitution for Real Madrid. And over it comes. It might still be problematic. And there's the final whistle. A thoroughly entertaining semi-final first leg. And I must say, Stuart, it bodes well for the return match. Yeah, fantastic first 90 minutes, wasn't it? Exactly what you want to see at this stage of the competition. Let's just hope they can replicate that in the reverse fixture. Kevin De Bruyne, incisive and influential. How would you sum up what you saw from the Belgian? Well, I thought he was fairly quiet throughout periods of the game, but he certainly played his part in this result. Took his goal well too, so overall, decent performance.